That's our component parts of an absolutely unmistakable musical sound. Listen. Round, round, get around, I get around, yeah, get around, round, round, I get around. It began on New Year's Eve of 1961 at Long Beach Auditorium on the West Coast. A new group was born. The Beach Boys, who sang about surfing and California girls and little Hondas and Barbara Ann and little Deuce Coops and good vibrations. Their unique brand of harmonies and sun bleached lyrics swept the country like the perfect wave. As they approached their 15th anniversary, they're still performing to sellout crowds everywhere. And we're pleased to have two of the Beach Boys with us today. Here are Mike Love and Al Jardine. We're having a party. <laughs> little birthday, little birthday yeah. cake in Perrier oh. water. That's right. <laughs> Hey, that shows a little class, a little Perrier water. Yeah. Mike, you heard me talking about your first... By the way, we're all celebrating an anniversary. I'm celebrating mine in December. Oh, yeah. 15 years, and you're that's celebrating right. New Year's Eve. 15 years. 15 years of the Mike Douglas show. That's right. I know, that's kind of a quinky. Quinky dinky. <laughs> Maybe we ought to get our act together and oh. celebrate that anniversary together. Yeah. Well, we kind of are. You we are, You supplied the cake. <laughs> Do you remember that first date I mentioned, what you guys were paid for that date in 1961? Oh, you're going to bring economics in, <laughs> so early in the discussion. Yeah, we, we, well, how much was it? It's, uh, 60 bucks a piece. I thought 60. Out of the box office? Yeah, we, we went to the box office personally <laughs> and waited for our money. And, and it was $300 to the group, and we divided up 60 bucks each, and I thought, gee whiz, 60 bucks, and we didn't do hardly anything. It <laughs> <laughs> was a lot was of money. Great. How do you come up with the fact that you guys are still together and so many groups have broken up over the years? You still have your act together. It's still economics. Is it? No. No, seriously. <laughs> uh, it's a family uh, group. There are three brothers, uh, cousin, friend, and next door neighbor. Good friend, Al Jardine. That's yeah. marvelous. Yeah, that's kind of marvelous. Were there a lot of dry periods in the 15 years? Because everybody thinks of the Beach Boys as only the guys who've been on top all those years. No dry periods in the Beach Boys. Surfing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I, you know we what do I'm have up and We've had yeah. up and down cycles, but I think that's natural. You know, nature has a cycle. Sure. Seven years of famine, seven years of feast, and all that kind of stuff. You, you've heard about that. And, that, you know, <laughs> yeah. so we, we've, had, we've had those roller coaster rides, too. But, you know, if you get really famous and make a lot of money or something, and then for a while you're not so famous, it's a humbling experience. <laughs> <laughs> and then once you've done that, you, you realize that you're going to, you still eat and things are okay and you're still yourself and you have your family or whatever and it's nice it's just you know it's kind of like riding those waves yeah is it confusing in that people are constantly coming to you in those periods and saying you're not doing the right things this is what you should be doing and you try to listen to everybody is it confusing from that from that aspect oh well not really the career seems to have uh, perpetuated itself somehow no matter what we do no matter what we hear the uh, direction seems to take its uh, own course it's natural. Like, for instance, when we were at the end of one record contract with Capitol Records, uh, like that, uh, during that time, when we weren't so very active, that's the time, like, for instance, Alan and I went and learned to become teachers of transcendental meditation. Right during that time, we weren't so terribly much, you know, in demand for touring and stuff. So that we learned a lot about ourselves and we were able to teach other people to him. And, and, what did you uh, call the group in those days, in 1961? Did 61. you have a name for the group then? Yeah, well, one time we were in, Carl was the only guy left in high school at that point. I was in junior college because I couldn't get into the university. My mm -hmm. grades weren't that good. Anyway, we called uh, the group Carl and the Passions because we'd make Carl a big man on Carl campus. Carl and the Passions? Carl and the Passions. That was Hello. clever. <laughs> and also there were Pendleton shirts. Yeah, our first uh, official uniform was the Pendleton. Pendleton? This is not an advertisement, it's a fact. Yeah, all the surfers wore Pendleton. Right. Yeah, beautiful wool, woolen shirts, and, and Brian and I went to May Company and picked, <laughs> out, the, picked out all the sizes, brought them back, and the guys loved them. And, yeah. yeah. So we were called the Pendletones. Pendletones. We're going to talk some more, but we're at a crucial point in the show. A thing called Station Break is about to come up on us. So can we, can we get you important. to sing? That's can we important. get you to sing now? Me? Yeah. Sing? Sing. For all these people? Oh. Okay. <laughs> 